Hey, welcome back! We are gonna build this set today! To say that I'm excited and psyched is beyond, no, something, I don't know, I am both of those things because the pop star sub theme for the Lego Friends line is just such a great sub theme. We've had one before, like years and years ago, to have it come back with a new set of, like a new era of Friends is just wild, it's, great. it's such a great thing plan. I, I highly endorse this idea. Okay, oh, by, by the way, so thank you to Lego for sending this set to me. Uh, obviously, all my opinions are my own. You're going to get an entire stream of consciousness as I build this and recap and everything, so sorry, strap yourselves in, <laughs> but here we go. Details of the set. There are 845 pieces. It's $130 in Australia, $85 in the US. Obviously, this is one you're going to be able to find on your retail stores, so see if you can find it for a little bit less than RP. Always a good plan. What have we got in here? We've got our instruction book. We've got some shiny stickers. Uh, even though I hate putting stickers on, I just love the details they add to the set. All right, let's get started. We'll have a look at all the characters, but the most important one is Paisley because Paisley is doing a Hannah Montana this season and she has got a, yeah, a pop star alter ego who we will meet and build in a moment because she's also included in the set. So Paisley's wearing an outfit we've seen before. It's very cute. I think it's kind of like her signature outfit. Oops, spoilers, sweetie. And we have got her in her alter ego pop star form with a brand new accessory for the mini dolls, little platform shoes. So I'm so curious to see what, not just how to use these as platform shoes, but what else we can use this new element for. It's so cool. We popped them onto purple boots. So now she's got platform high heeled boots. They look a little bit weird from the back. No, they really don't. They look really good. They look great. So yeah, purple boots, black mini dress with a purple and like a metallic -y mosaic on the top. It's very striking. It looks so amazing. But she's also got this brand new element made for mini doll shoulders. I like, they're like a uh, kind of space, <laughs> space shoulder pads. No, they're like costume wear and they are fantastical. I love them. She's going to have to go sideways through door frames, but she, you know, it doesn't matter because she looks amazing. Her face print, we can tell here that she's got paisley eyebrows. She's got the paisley mouth shape, but purple, purple rimmed sunglasses to hide her face. Uh, sorry, her eyes and she's got purple lipstick and her hair piece is so cute. Little space buns in vibrant coral, which just tops off the whole, I mean, I would never have I never guessed these colors would go together. So this is Paisley as Layla, her pop star alter ego. She's significantly taller. She's significantly larger than life altogether. So let's watch this transformation happen. It's amazing, the power of editing. Let's up, the problem is though, I'm gonna have them both now in exactly the same timeline. It's like, I'm going to break the space time continuum. Woo, we're gonna do that the whole way through. We've also got two more characters in here. We've got Ollie. He's got on the three quarter length pants that we've seen before on Nova, but they look very cute on him. He's got a brand new top, which is like a black uh, mesh thing with silvery going on the stuff and the silver necklace. Love it for him. He is totally ready to go and attend or be like be the outfitter to the stars, which is what he's doing. He's planning, planning Layla's outfit. So really, really fun. And we've got Leanne with a brand new uh, color scheme for her pant piece. Leanne, I don't think knows that Paisley is Layla. I'm not sure, but I don't think so because she comes in the last bag. Uh, and she's got a t-shirt which has got the Layla print on the front so she's obviously the fandom and on the back it's got the tour dates I just love the details on this they're so tiny but they're legible like you can't see the actual tour dates but you can see the little Layla down the bottom of the 2024 and her face print is a new one which is kind of like shell-shocked or well, starstruck so yeah she doesn't know who she is maybe she will by the end of the season but it's so cool so she's in here strictly as a fan she has got a poster a something rather beautiful printed piece i just love this but she's got this ready for layla to actually sign so yeah 100 percent fandom here i love it love that printed piece it's gonna look gorgeous on a wall gonna be able to put this up as memorabilia in leanne's room so good okay so both of these two characters layla and leanne come in the last bag so we don't actually meet them till very 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 much later on but ollie and paisley are here from the beginning because they're setting this whole look up 
throughout the build, which is such a fun, you've actually got a storyline happening while you build. Now, before we even start the bus, we've got some little subsidiary builds, which I love because they just add so much character and yeah, story to the whole thing. So we've got a little black and purple thingamabob. Oh my gosh, the, the black's just going to get my fingerprints all over it. At the very end, I'm going to give it a whole clean off with isopropyl alcohol just to wipe off all the black because there's a lot of black in this. Get all those smear marks off. We've got a red lipstick, a blue paintbrush, and a little palette with some pink and purple. Now purple is her color scheme, but I think if you mix the red and the blue together, I mean, I know you mix them together and you'll get purple. So I reckon we're having a little bit of color mixing happening here with the palette, which is fun. For the other side here, cause these are two little hook onable things. This one's also got hooks for attaching stuff. This is the hairdressing side of, of whatever it is we're gonna be putting it on. This is a little bottle of spray hair goop. I don't know what it can be whatever you want it to be uh, and this is a hairdryer love the sparkly silver cone on it love that we get a nice shiny one for that and a brush so yeah look at this we are we've got everything we need except maybe for the actual costume making elements we can get all the hair and the makeup done with this stuff but I, I need a, an entire extra set with the costume creating side because in Ollie's house you've actually got all of the plans for him that for him to actually make her costumes so I wonder if the secondhand shop does that uh, I'll have to look the thrift shop okay moving on to the next part of the build which is still not part of the bus but a little subsidiary build got a sparkly purple brick in the corner got really nice tiling on the bottom but we do have some jumper studs Ooh, to attach to attach things onto so this is a piano or the keyboard so she is this is where she can do all her mixing so it's yeah it's like a recording mixing studio all in one yeah all in one little section so she's got a microphone she's got the keyboard she's got a little mixery bit on the top and the sides little computer screeny kind of thing very nice and of course to keep their energy up the sugary sodas on either side a lot of those have been consumed lots of late nights i assume and a couple of seats which have got matching oh hold on they don't have anything because there's nothing on this sheet of stickers because i missed a whole sheet of stickers out of the actual little cardboard mailer that the uh instructions and the stickers came in so always check before you throw things away because there was another sheet of stickers in there like I hadn't chucked it okay we've got very very cute little stickers we've got some headphones that go around the neck to hang off the side and on the other side a purple guitar everything she needs that's so good and the little seats are obviously detachable but you can stand stand paisley here to do the recording <laughs> well <laughs> while Ollie is a nuisance and tries to do her hair while she's trying to record. No, he's just going to sit here and be a happy bystander for the moment. His jobs come later. Okay, bag number two, we're getting started on the bus. Now, I'm just going to zoot through the formation of this, the structural foundation, because it's important, but it's really, really dull to watch somebody build this stuff, unless you're really into technical building, in which case, just slow it right down. You, you've got the capacity to do that on YouTube, but for the rest of us who have very short attention spans, I have sped this up like 3000 percent so yeah really fast let's get this bit done very foundational very functional we're up to bag number three amazing the power of editing i love it this is interesting though because this has got all of these little smooth surfaces put upside down on this so this is going to be a double-sided featurey bit like a big opening door section so we both sides are important so this side here is the bit that we're going to be Actually, I can't figure out. I don't know what this bit is. This is, oh, look, there's a phone here. Just, just so a phone sitting at the back. It's a nice big couch area. So really nice and big. We can fit everybody in here. We could fit both Paisley and Layla in at the same time. Poor old Leanne. She's going to know exactly what's going on by the end of this. She must, she must already. Cleaning off this surface before I put the stickers on with some isopropyl alcohol, which is just one of my favorite phrases because it just rolls so nicely up the tongue. Such delicious words, like phrases. The rhythm of it is so good. Isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> I need to concentrate on putting these stickers on. So these stickers all make a great big like poster, sp like sparkly poster to showcase Layla's icon iconography. Oh, those are cool too. Those gray things are, those gray round bits have got actual studs on the back of them. They've got inverted studs, but they're flat rather than curved, which is what we had before. So much happening here. So this is now a couch for the, that you can use when it's folded out and when it's folded up you've got the big poster on the side of the bus with all of the Layla stuff on it really cool on the inside we're getting tiling with these I don't know what you call those coral bits 
the they're like oh, I don't know they're kind of like sharp peanut <laughs> sharp peanut tiles but they're so cool they make some really great patterning so we're getting some fun tiling in here we've got a spinny bit in the middle and uh, yeah it looks kind of even like even like a little stage section in the middle of the bus with a big couch area to watch what's happening on the stage this is so fun okay look at that look you can go spinning around everyone can watch from here you can bring the concert to the bus bag number four it's all happening <laughs> Okay, so we've actually filled in a big amount of the inside of the bus is going to be that big prettily tiled area. What are we going to be able to fit in the rest? It's going to be so curious to see how much we can fit in what is essentially a pretty small area. So we've got... Um, Oh, so we've got a little bedspread. This one's obviously Paisley's because it's got the music notes on it. So this goes in here. This... Oh, there's two more bedspreads, so they're all going to be able to kind of just snug in together here. Holy moly, <laughs> it's going to be really tight. This one, I think, might be... I, what is the picture in the book there? Like, I can't figure out what that book is. Is it a graphic novel for Leanne? Or I want to know what that is. And if it's a hint for something we might be seeing in the future, because it kind of looks kind of fantasy themed. But look, we can snug them all in here alternating. And so they do all fit. It's not going to be comfortable, but they do technically fit in, <laughs> in there. They're sleeping like with their underarms right against each other's toes. Gross. <laughs> so stanky. <laughs> but you know, I was going to say what happens on tour stays on tour, but I don't know if that works with stanky underarms and feet. <laughs> anyway. Okay, all right. So we've got a little sleeping area, a really, really small sleeping area. The front of the bus here is obviously going to be the driving section because it's the front. I think you're probably going to have more room at the front than you are in the little sleeping sleeping area at the back oh my goodness okay bag number five we've got lots and lots of structural building to go on here but yeah this is definitely the front so yeah this is i reckon if they want to spread out a bit they might just want to crash in the cabin of the front of the bus because there's more room like there seems to be almost the same amount of room there as that no maybe not quite but man, look, see, they can tilt back, be a bit comfortable, sleep in the comfy chairs at the front <laughs> rather than smelling each other's stinky feet and underarms in the back. OK, so we've got our front of the bus happening. It is quite substantial because this is a big like tour buses are big because they are yeah, designed to carry a lot of stuff and but but also be comfortable in the inside. They probably don't really have such uh, confined sleeping areas. Maybe they do. I don't really know. I haven't been in one. OK, we are moving on to something that's detailed and cool. This is a this is like the cupboard. We've got a bit of cowboy wear happening here. So choices, we've got outfit choices, got a tissue box, got boxes of random stuff and folded up things. Oh, it's the costume cupboard. I love it. The outfits. That's the best part. So this actually goes over here in the corner of this middle section and you can clip this in that we made at the beginning and then it's the dressing room. So if we turn, if we actually turn this mini doll head around, it looks like this is a mannequin holding her costume on her outfit so we're just gonna leave it like that at the moment because that's really fun and then also paisley and the mannequin can coexist in the same plane the same universe without breaking anybody's brains all right so this is what we've got so far at the end of this bag it's looking really good there's lovely big play place in the middle like that all right bag number six what do we got here we've got a little tiny teeny space of course for a toilet like not a full bathroom because there is not room for that so so, wow, I hope, I hope the, <laughs> the mini dolls are using this toilet. Oh, I love this sticker. So this is going inside. It's got a little mirrored, a little mirrored sticker for the mirror. But man, there is, yeah, it's, it's black in there. The walls are black and it's very small. So like I say, I hope they're not claustrophobic. I hope they have no fear of small spaces because the black will make it appear even more tiny. Okay, heading back to filling up the dressing room. This is so much fun. I'm having a blast. These are some more outfits, some more costume choices. I actually went and had a little glance at the other uh, pop star sets and 
I was hoping that these would actually be some images of the other costumes that she wears and they're not so I'm a bit sad about that. That would have been really like a fun little easter egg to actually have pictures of the other costumes on here. But they're nice anyway, it's cool. Okay, so we can clip this in over here. So we've got the hairdressing station, we've got the makeup station, we've got outfits. We've got a little mannequin in the middle with the actual outfit, but it's not finished yet. Not in the middle at all. But we do need a toilet door, so we've got this little toilet sticker to go on the door, which is great. Really nice and generic, very clean and modern looking. And this sticker makes a big panel like bookcase for the sleeping area. I think that picture in the middle is a picture of her mum who passed away and was also was a singer. So uh, with the maybe that's why she chose to have the vibrant coral hair because her mum also appears to have vibrant coral hair. Oh so many questions. <laughs> so many. Okay. All right. So these are the big these are reminiscent with the big stars on them, these bursts on the side of the windows in this back little sleeping area. They're reminiscent of the original pop star bus. Just love it. Different colour scheme, but a similar kind of idea. Just love that little kind of hint to the previous theme. And this bit, oh, nice. Layla personalised number plates, because of course. Now you can actually, you can actually pop this little bit that we made at the beginning, the recording studio, in on the back, and then you can pop it out when you want it to be a sleeping area. That is like multitasking purpose. I love that. Whoa, okay, so many play options, so many different ways to utilize this bus. We're up to the next bag. That happened like a while ago. I was just still mind blown by the fact we can pop in and out. I mean, it should be so logical, but it's so good. Okay, we've hinged the back. On the top here, we've got some nice curved bits going on. All of these little white panels pieces on the top, well not, the, the tiles, big square tiles, so nice, it just makes it look nice and clean. Alright, so this is a nice big detail. We get a door framey kind of thing with a big mirror on it. So this is obviously going to be for the dressing room, got a little picture of Layla down the bottom, sticky note and some lights little fairy lights and then we have another one exactly the same but without the picture of Layla down the bottom dun 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 because this is like a little reveal turny thing if we put paisley on one side let's install it first and then we'll try it out so this goes in the middle of our dressing area so we can put we can put uh Layla here and we can put paisley on the other side and we'll do it later because <laughs> forgot where I put Paisley. I think she's in the back of the recording studio. We'll do it later. It'll be fine. We'll do it at the end. Got to get the rest of this built in and I should actually put the turning function in as well. So this little knob goes on the top so you can turn it nice and easily from the outside. Oh, so good. And this is the roof part for the front cabin of the truck. It feels like a truck, right? It is very trucky, bussy kind of thing. Okay, we only have a little bit left to go now. We're up to bag number eight, and this is the bag that Leanne and Layla came in. And Layla actually comes with a pen for signing her autograph on Leanne's little printed piece, which is still amazing. I'm still blown away by the detail of the print on these on that little tile. It's so good. It looks so great. I hope I can get a whole heap of them. <laughs> so good. Okay, all right. So yes. Leanne is obviously a super fan. I love that. We can call them, like, what, what should we call the Layla fans? Like, Layla Knights? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. There's got to be something. So this little section here is the place where you can store, like, hide away the hairpiece, the wig, and the, and, the, uh, and the platforms. But I'm just trying them on Paisley to see how cute they look. And look, like, Layla as Paisley. No, now I'm confused. I'm really confused. But they both look cute even when you, like, mix and match. Just love mixing and matching mini doll outfits anyway. But so cute. But this bit lets... Oh, now Layla doesn't have her hair or her platforms. But this is actually supposed to hide away in here and then you tuck it like a nice neatly in with the hairdressing stuff so it stays there and I, I just love the storage space for this it's so there's so much there's so many little things tucked away oh it's so good I'm gonna put the hair and the platforms back on though because they just <laughs> they, I don't want to hide them away I think that looks good pretty sure Leanne's clued into what's happening by now anyway but yeah so we can put Paisley on this side and then we can get Ollie to do all the smishful of fluffling with her face and her hair and then we can spin it around whoop and oh hold on that's not very safe for, <laughs> for ollie there look at that i need some little jumper studs on that floor so i can attach ollie down too we're missing some little jumper stud places i know it's easier to move them around without but i also like to have my mini dolls staying in place too got a little cloud table with a pizza some snacks it's a snack table and another can of soft drink this is going to be oh this is the little missing bit from above the door like oh, hold on speaking of missing bits i entirely missed a bit out of the middle 
There we go. Now that's now that's more structurally sound. We don't want that falling in on top. And this is like an enormous flat screen TV with whatever's going on with the talent show, with Andrea being the star performer, I think. I don't know what's happening with the story, but I just think it all looks so cool. Okay, so we've got a big Layla sign. And when we put this up and the top comes down, it clips over the top so it actually holds it up. Isn't that good? Isn't that just so tidy? I love the tidiness of it. That just makes my brain very happy. And those little grey back stud things, those round <laughs> things with the studs on the back, they're the speakers. So you can blast the sound out as they're going around, I think. Got some silver speakers down the bottom. <laughs> this is all going on. You can have a whole performing spot in the front. I feel like we need a little mobile stage for in front too. Okay, but we can always change this up. We can add stuff. At the moment, there's so much already going on. This is the front with a great big star on it. Love it so much. Massive. It looks like a truck. It definitely just feels so trucky. It's a tour bus truck. These big flaggy bits clip onto the sides of the cabin of the drivey cabiny bit and where they match on either side. But their main purpose, apart from to look pretty funky and have cool flags, is to hold on the rear vision mirrors, the side vision mirrors, which are very important. And they are at least, they're at least uh, proportionally appropriate for the size of this truck. We've got some really big, long, mirrory bits happening. So yeah, it definitely looks as though you can see the people behind you with those. Handy! Now we just need wheels and then we can get this tour on the road. So we've got six of these wheels, nice and simple, but I hate putting the inside part of the wheels into the rubbery bit of the wheels, so I've done a lot off camera. So let's shove these on and pop them around the other side too, and then... Then we're done. Look how good this looks, but I'm going to wipe all of this black off with my isopropyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and then it will be less fingerprinty and smeary, and it's going to look all shiny and amazing and new. So check this out. We've got this awesome little section over here with like a performing dress up area. Got the bit at the back with a recording studio, a toilet, and the sleeping area. Ow, I don't know, but it all fits in, clips together beautifully. The back's very plain, but that's okay, because there's the back. And then the front cabin, does anything else lift off? No. The front cabin roof comes off so that you can actually put a couple of mini dolls in the front here, either for a quick snooze, because there's not enough room in the back, or to actually drive this big sucker of a truck. Holy moly, who has got their heavy vehicle license to actually be driving this? I reckon Ollie might be in charge of that. Sounds safe to me. <laughs> okay, all right. This is absolutely a blast. It's such a great set. Looks amazing when it's finished as well, but the play potential in it as well and the versatility of all of the stuff in it for expanding on and doing all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, I know that sounds kind of random and, and vague, but I almost feel as though I don't describe these things to the, but you have to see them in person. But anyway, absolutely loved building this set. I cannot wait to build the other pop star sets, but I also kind of don't want to jump into them too fast because once they're built, then I can't build them again. But then I can like play with them, modify them and add more stuff to them and just have, yeah. Okay, all right, too much, it's too much. It's time for you to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the set subscribe click the little notification bell do all the things and check back in because oh my goodness there is so much good stuff still to come up so i'll see you again soon <laughs> bye